Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fat Chats! I'm lying on a couch. I'm sitting, sitting on a fucking hot ass fucking stool that's hurting my butt. It's hurting my booty. Ah, uh, booty cheeks. Oh, booty cheeks. Alright, today. What are we listening to, Alec? I'm gonna be reading through some stories of entitled parents. Yep. I've sorted through um, the most controversial of all time. Alright. I'm just gonna go. We'll say a trigger warning just in case any yeah. of these say anything. Just in case. We don't know if we haven't read these, but you know, no. just in case. I'm just gonna go from the first one. Just go from the first one. Entitled parents is always good, no matter what the story. That is very true, yeah. Another airport EM harassed me about retro gaming on my laptop. <laughs> okay. Okay, clearly this person's um, posted before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. And with another entitled parent encounter, I seem cursed of this sort of thing because almost the exact situation repeated itself. I was traveling for work again and cutting things close to be home for Christmas. This time it happened on a layover on my way home. My next flight wasn't to be for a few hours, so I did my usual of finding an airport cafe and plugging in my personal laptop so I would not run the battery dry. This time, I was playing Castlevania Legacy of the Oh, nice! I was really enjoying playing as Henry, even though his quest is so much shorter because he actually uses a gun. I had to wear headphones to avoid disturbing anyone, but eventually I felt a small hand tugged at my pant leg. It was a small boy, probably a bit younger than the one from the last time I posted. He pointed out the bright red game controller I was using and asked what it was. He thought it was for an Xbox. Internally, I was mildly offended by that, being the retro Nintendo fan I am. Hey, wait, wait, hold, hold on, don't pause. He's a young child. You already sound like a dickhead. Yes. I got mildly offended at that. Dude, it's a small child. Yes. Relax, buddy. But only a complete jerk would be angry at a kid for not knowing about something that existed before they were born. Okay, at least you're fucking aware of it. Cool. Plus, it's not like all people in my day were Nintendo fans. Yeah, I was one of those guys who got in console debates, and even though I never got a chance to really click with the Super Nintendo, I still defended it against the Sega Genesis, though not on a console wars level. I let my friend do those debates. This sounds like my uncle. <laughs> this yeah. sounds like my uncle. <laughs> Back to the situation in the airport. I was tired and not in the mood to be bothered, so I politely asked the kid to please go back to his parents and leave me be. He just stared at me like like what I said didn't register, so I asked again, and when that didn't work, I asked a nearby employee for help and a coffee refill. The employee found the kid's mother nearby and ushered the boy back to her. Moments later, I was being confronted by an EM dressed in all black and white while red in the face, like a bad newspaper headline and was demanding to know what my problem was. I can't just play video games in public and expect not to attract the attention of children. That's fair. I sighed because I knew exactly where this was going. Not my first rodeo after all, but in most other situations like this, I usually just get a dirty glare from the EP. But after the incident in which an EM destroyed my laptop, it's a bit. Wow. I was much more on guard. I stood up and told her it was not my job to entertain her child. Fair enough. It's not the job of the cafe employees or other people in the cafe either. It was her job. Either bring something for her kid to game on or find a way to entertain him herself. I don't care. But leave me out of it. She acted extremely offended and called me a giant man baby. I told her that was exactly the sort of thing a Karen would say, which only angered her further. Soon the same employee was back and tried to break things up. She politely asked us both to calm down, but the EM refused and said I should be thrown out for insulting her. I finally had enough and said I sued the last person like her who demanded I entertain her son because they broke my computer and got arrested. And there were uh, cameras all around us to see who started what. So go ahead, try me. The EM started huffing and I calmed down enough to sit back down and act polite. And I polite enough to say, please just leave me alone. The employee sided with me and asked her uh, then to just calm down and leave me be. The EM huffed and dragged her kid away by the hand while he cried about the games for for a good while. She was repeatedly glaring at me. 
Her son played on what I assume was her phone, which meant she had nothing to do herself, but then they left and later came back with a coloring book and a fresh pack of crayons. I think she grabbed at the overpriced gift shop, and her son played with that till it was time to go. This isn't quite over though. The EM was somehow on the same flight as me, which made the EM target me during boarding. She made sure to be as close to me as possible, and her little boy had nasty gas. So he kept farting right in my direction, but I stayed silent, and I kept my sunglasses on so she could not see where I was looking. She tried acting smug looking back at me, but the smugness was short-lived as I made sure to act completely indifferent and silent to not show any irritation. Someone else called her out on her kids farting too and she had a short argument with them about it. She later seemed to look like she sucked on a lemon as, I, as she saw I got to board before her to go to business class. And she had to board for coach a few minutes later. She shouted, fuck you, as she went by my aisle seat. I was off the flight before the EM, so I didn't see her again. When leaving the airport... When my wife picked me up, I told her what happened. She rolled her eyes and called me a Karen magnet. That sounds like you are, man. Yeah. Um, As an edit. Oh, fuck on. Yeah, my wife told me no one would believe me if I posted this here. She's one of the most down-to-earth people I have ever met. To answer why I was in the cafe and not the lounge, I go where there's a free power outlet. Plus, That's I wanted some fair. good coffee, why I didn't just explain about the key. No. Oh. Wrong line. Why just? Why didn't I just explain about the games and the N64 control to the kid? Because every time I've done that with the EP's kid, they didn't. They don't seem to lose interest. I've been asked by kids many times while emulator gaming on my laptop, and though rarely ever care that the games are over 20 years old, they're more concerned with the fact I have games when they're bored and have nothing else to do and when my wife called me a Karen magnet she wasn't joking most of the people who asked me about NC4 gaming on my laptop just have a few questions and leave me alone then there's the ones who don't leave me alone I've had numerous similar incidents in various places but most of the time the EP takes her, their kid and back off and the incident in which the Karen EM broke my laptop left Ooh. me with it. an even shorter fuse for those people here's one of the TJ she, she helped me set it up Right, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna stick a stand. Sure. Uh I have a few questions and leave me alone. Then there's the ones who don't leave me alone. I've had numerous similar incidents in various places, but most of the time the EP takes their kid and back off and the incident in which a Karen Karen EM broke my laptop, left me with an even shorter fuse for those people. Call me a giant man, baby, if you want, but I just wanted to relax and play my games in peace while waiting for my flight. Is that so wrong? No. Here's what I picked out from that. Oh, the guy, guy's not the wrong at all. Mm. Entitled, entitled by the, all the fucking way. But uh, this is just a me kind of thing. It's a retro game, so it's not graphic. Hmm. I would just let the kid watch. I don't really care. Yeah, let him watch, but then, let like, if he wants to play, he can go, sorry, no. Uh, if you kept asking questions, that's when I'd be like, okay, dude, I'm trying to play, I'm sorry. Can, I'm just trying to watch chill You can either phone. watch in silence, or just go. <laughs> hmm. um, either watch in silence, or I'll turn it off. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. No. Nah. That's a pretty entitled mother, if you ask me. Yeah. Okay, anyway, you can have the next one. My next one! Alright, um. Oh, so you already picked it out for me. It's just, I, that was the first story that came up that I read, and that's the second one. It's just entitled parents at best. My friend's stepmom is insane and thought I would be on her side. Oh boy. The paragraphs I sent to her go as follows. Sorry for no than bad grammar and or punctuation. Oh, so this is, this is like a front conversation? Must be. Alright, okay, we'll read it. Edit 1. Context. My friend is treated as a lot, as a live-in maid without, get, without being paid and everything is giving to his little siblings for free. All in all, treated awfully. He finally stood his ground and she, re and she retaliated by kicking him out. He said not to, he said not to this 
to because of a prior arrangement and she only slightly backed down and then texted me if I knew what was going on because he's acting this is so dysfunctioned I'm gonna read another one okay it's yeah I'm a severe germaphobe and I just saw a dad let his child pee right in the parking space at my favourite target location. Huh? In a parking space, you let your child pee. Go find a bush. This is short as fuck, so I'm going to read another one if that's alright. Yeah. This is like one paragraph. I'm a germaphobe. Go find a bush. And today, after doing, after going to a therapy germaphobe session, coincidentally, oh no... I did a quick walk into my local Target to grab some stuff. Then when I was leaving, I saw a dad in the parking lot put his son's pants down in the parking lot and his son peed. And not just a little, it was a huge puddle. And the urine was splashing everywhere. It was like someone pouring out an entire jug of apple juice onto the street. The dad looked both ways and said, time to go. Picked up his kid and placed him in the back seat of the, the back seat. The kid literally peed in front of the back right passenger door right on the guest path where only where one could get in and out of their car. Absolutely disgusting, and I'm so scared to even go back to this target. I was even going to apply for a job here and everything, but as a German driver, I fear that the next driver who parks there and gets out of their car will step over and pee and spread the germs throughout the store and parking lot. This person has bad German phobia. Germs aren't that bad. They're not no. quite that bad. Yes, they can spread. But pee germs are a bit weird. At they that, won't be able to spread because the liquid won't move with it. As long as you don't consume... Well, even, even if you consume it, people have lived off their piss. Yeah. You can... Uh, yeah, you can dilute it and ship it. It's yeah. dilute, diluted a few, fair bit. But if it's, like, clear white... It's clear white, you just have to heat it up to just kill the rest kill of the Kill the rest of the If it's yellow, yeah, filter it out of it, then boil it. But, yeah, no, piss isn't... But this is okay, this is us more comforting all the German folks out there. Piss is by far not the worst one. We do also understand like German phobia, like, you do understand that your brain if can't he your brain off. Geez, that's different. But your brain can't differentiate between like different germs. You yeah. don't understand that. But we just shout on the path, be throw up on the path. Sure. Yeah. But we but we do want to point out like pee is not the worst thing. That dad's an arsehole. Oh yeah. <laughs> that dad is an absolute prick. Oh, I just read the next one. Alright, so this is definitely a trigger warning. Um, trigger warning for um, transphobia or anything like that. Just um, it, The mic would be picking me up, wouldn't mm. it? Yeah. Heavy trigger warning for transphobia. Um, we support you all. We support you, everyone. So this is not a hate thing. This is someone else. Yes. Just specifying that. We're just reading. We're just reading. We love all of you. Unless you're a fairy. <laughs> we love all of you equally, even the bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was joking. So much. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, never mind. There is, there is, okay. Trigger warning for self harm, abuse, and transphobia. So. Maybe you just skip it. Maybe skip it. Yes, just, just to make our lives easy. Yeah, let's do yeah. Entitled Karen hates gender reveal criticism. <laughs> <laughs> this would be good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move on to the last one. Oh, before you read, I saw a thing of these yeah. people having a dinner room party. The wife does the. They have like poppers to pop out the color of the. Who's yeah. She's doing the catfish. She goes three, two, one. They get to one. The guy does it, and she goes, wait, 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 wait. Why did you do it? And gets fucking angry at him. It's like you just kind of. You just kind of count it down. Yeah, and he was ready to go. Yeah. He went, and now you've just got an angry and ruined the whole thing. Oh my god. Um, the, it was, it was the, the, the two most stupid. Gender reveals are stupid anyway. Yeah, one gender reveals set fire to a lot of things. And I remember um, another one. Um, so, for the longest time, New York's, New York's sky was like ashy mm. and like smoky and all that. It's because it there was a fire from Canada that was huge. That spread down. I don't know if this is rumored or not, but I would believe it. The fire started because three women wanted to prove that women can be as strong firefighters as men. Way to fucking go! You've because of that. So this is a little bit of a rant. But this is fact chat. Because of that, you've now basically set back women five steps by doing that. Yeah. No one was denying it. Anybody who was denying it are assholes. Don't listen to them. No one's denying it. 
I can easily feel just as protected as if I saw a man police officer than a woman police officer. I feel You're equally still as protected. Officer. You still have a gun. I look at the title, not the gender. I, you still have a gun. <laughs> yeah, I'm not denying you, but because you've done that, there's going to be some it. people who are on the fence, possibly, whether it's in, whether it's real reasons or not real reasons. Put this way. You've now given all the bigots a reason to go. Yes! <laughs> they have a full actual, like, actual defense Before against their sides. They didn't. Size. It, was they didn't. Of, it was just a thing of, oh, okay. Oh, you're just sexist. I, no, now you have an actual case that you can support with. You fucking... Uh, you didn't need to do that. Some men do it as well. Yes. Those genders are stupid. Yes. But God help me. <laughs> God help me. Anyway. Ra- random off topic from that. Um, sure. All the flat earth people trying to prove it's a flat earth proving themselves wrong. Oh, like I saw a thing of like... Best. Yeah, yeah, the thing light. Of, yeah, the light. Oh, no? the lights, but also Russia's 5,900 kilometers wide. Um, Africa, I think they were comparing it to, yeah. is 7,400. They're going, how? Oh, because it wraps around... <laughs> so on a map when you're looking at it it's it looks big but that's because they're not taking consideration when it goes into a circle <laughs> anyway so yeah and Tyler Karen hates gender reveal criticism this is a well this is a bit of a lengthy one it's a bit of a lengthy one this, 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 this will keep you say it's long no but it's, it's so it have an L at the top no in a circle no oh okay. this, is, this will be to cap off the video though this happened over social media, but it's my first and only encounter to memory with an entitled parent. I can't find anything in the rules that says nothing from social media, so here's how it goes. I'm quite an outspoken feminist, but try to at least give people the benefit of the doubt. Should I feel social justice related criticism is warranted? I myself am gender non-binary, and like most of us, have gone through a most of my life ignorant on the subject of trans non-binary rights. So if people are willing to learn for, learn or at least discuss the topic, I'm more than happy to have a, pol- a, pol- a polite conversation. Um, no, no, hold on. Immediately, I like this guy. I do, I do like him. However, I want to put my point in of the rights part of it. Yeah. You have your rights. If you could go in like sports and stuff, by doing yeah, yourself... This conversation's a whole conversation. Yeah, but by, by doing this with the sports side of it, you you're can, choosing yeah, to you do are it. Choosing to do it, it is yeah. your choice. Yes. You know the what can happen from it. Stop complaining. Yes. You looked at you looked at all the benefits of like, oh, I'm going to be comfortable. This is what I want. And all like the technically cons that they have. Yeah. yeah you no, went I, and did it anyway. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no. Um, no, but the fact that this person is acknowledging that they're like, they've been a bit ignorant. I think all of us have been. That's oh, point. yeah. All of us have been ignorant to trans people well, and all that shit. You're young. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you're young. You don't know half the shit. Yeah. And you, and you can't learn physically until you actually go out of your way and ask the questions. Like, for example, I'm one of my mates, Zero Ace. Um, and because they're the only person I know of Zero Ace that I personally... Oh, I know you're an ace in the hole. I know you're an ace in the hole. They're the only personal person I know personal who's an Zero Ace. I had a few questions. And also the fact that like, they're now dating my mate, both my mates, they're dating each other. I was like, okay, well... How does that work then? And so then I go ask the questions. Mm-hmm. I also may sort of be like, this isn't uncomfortable, is it? And they're like, no, it's okay. I'm like, cool. It doesn't hurt to ask questions. No! And, and, and if they say I'm not comfortable with asking that, then you go, okay, don't you press just further. Don't be rude about it. Just find someone else then. You just don't be rude about yeah. it. Yeah. There's yeah. ways to ask questions. I asked TJ a few questions when I first knew her. Like, she was bisexual. She was, I, I knew other bisexual people, but she was actually a tolerable pers- bisexual person to be around. So, yeah. I know shit. Like, you have to actually go out of way to ask shit. Yeah, on that, um, tolerable. Yeah, some of them make their whole personalities. That, that's with any sexuality, though. Like, you, 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 can, you can find a straight person and then make their whole personality. It sucks, but yeah, everyone does it. See, that's the thing, though. When you go up to a straight person, it's like their whole personality. Is it? It is basic. Or is it because other people are making it that way of like the, Could oh, be. you're straight? Oh, no, no, no. That's like kind of thing. <laughs> like, what? That <laughs> kind of thing. Could be. Could be. Then that's the other person making it their Could. whole personality. Take away, don't make your personality. Because then you look like an idiot. Yes. I say I'm going to sexual. I say if anyone wants to put a label on it. I don't care. And I like to inform people just so then people don't call me gay or femboy. 
<laughs> what the fuck does it work? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Right, right, right. However, what I have no patience for are people who get unreasonably angry at challenging the status quo. Okay. When it comes to parents, I can't decide for them how they really raise their child or what gender they are assigned, but I can at least try my best to provide information on the subject for the parents to use at their discretion. That's a very grey area, because if you do it, you might seem entitled as fuck. Yes. Let's see how you do that, you could seem like an asshole to that parent, because it's like, I'm going to raise them however I want, don't tell me okay, what but to just do. Just so you know, this can happen, it's like, fuck off. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. Then anyway. I'll come to you. Yeah. He's a male. This guy's a male, by the way. Oh, it says male, but they're non-binary, so... Eh. It says M at the top, so... Whatever. Um... People who get unreasonably angry at challenging the status quo. Blah, blah, blah. As with, with as with willing ignorance, I have zero tolerance for transphobia or bigotry or any kind, which should be, in my view, be a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised. Yeah. See, but they say it like that, and it's like, well, do you know how to take a joke then? Or do you not handle jokes? Mm. When they say it like that, it comes with the thing of, you kind of sound like a dick, because it sounds like you can't take jokes then. Yeah. In light of the recent fires started by a gender reveal party... I just said that! Which isn't the first time this has happened, I'm sure. You know, it isn't, but this one was bad. <laughs> this one was a bad one. Um, I share a single-page cartoon from the webcomic series Assigned Male. The cartoon depicts the titular character Ste Steffi at a gender reveal party facing the reader and saying, Gender reveal parties are both trans and intersex phobic. Throwing them for your babies tells the world you're not you're not ready for a transgender, non-confirming, or intersex child. That's just because you've been told what it is. Yeah, okay. I don't... This is grey area. This is grey area. It's not grey area. Your child doesn't have a will yet. It's not alive. <laughs> it's either male or female. <laughs> I was going to say that, yeah. I was going to yeah. It's not a grey area. Yeah, look, 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 look. It's a grey area when they get, like... To 15, 16. I'm a believer, and I can't wait till the future that people find this video and be like, oh my god, bigots, no! <laughs> it's a, We're not! No, but sure, it's a grey area when your child gets to 15, 16, and it's like, okay, you oh, can not even, maybe make Not even, when they start questioning it, yeah. that's when you be like, okay, well, what? Well, it depends on when they question it. Because in the age we're growing up in, they might question it at five, and it's go, okay, hey, calm down. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no, 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 calm no, no, down, no. buddy. Yeah, it's 15 or 16 because then it's like, oh, they're getting to the age where it's like they actually like a fully know aware. what's going yeah. on, okay. they know this. You can give it a while before actually doing anything yeah. about it right, because yeah. they're getting to 18. Yeah. Then they can go and do something about it. When they're a legal adult, they can do it themselves and you can support them. That's fair, yeah. But 15, 16 is when you can start talking to them about it yeah. when, if they're questioning. And making sure they know everything. Yes. Yes. If it's any earlier, yes. you're an asshole. But at the, moment, at the moment, they're a baby. Babies, it's the thing babies of... don't have conscious. If they have a dick, it a man. If they had pussy, it female. <laughs> it's the thing of the parents that are raising their kids as non-binary. Holy shit. You're going to get so much hate for that. Your child is going to get bullied I in school. I think the only time you can get away with non-binary is if... And I think... I know it can happen. It is incredibly rare as if they're born hermaphrodite. That's when you can get away with it. Because they have both a penis and a vagina. That's when you're like, okay, well... And there's... They're a they then, because you can't really say he or she. Yes. They can choose what they want to go by. The thing with that, though, is that they are genetically more one than the other and then that's what people go off of. They're genetically they more one than yeah, They just true. have what, both. But I'm genetically, you know. But genetically, you are only one. Because if you are male with a vagina, you won't have a womb or anything. You won't grow boobs. You won't no. physically anything. You'll be a male, just yeah. have it. If you're other, female, on the other side of the coin, you're the penis, you won't have testicles. No. How fucking cool would that be, though? Having both. Yeah. That's awesome. You'd be, you'd literally be the favourite fuck toy. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm full. See, I don't know if their penis can get hard though, or if it's just kind of there. No. I think, okay, I think how it works. I think you have to be more. I'm so glad this is a thing. I'm so glad we do fat chats. Um, I think if you're more male with a vagina, yes, it can work because I think then. No, no, no. Could I say thing? How the, gen how the genital it works, we're all originally born female, I put in quotes, because I'll, because it's not like fully out yet. What differentiates is that men's genitalia comes out, female's genitalia goes in. 
That no, that yep, yes, yes, yes. It grows more in that direction, but they don't. Tell s- me, when you were born, did you have balls? No, that's what I mean. Sorry, not the penis itself, but the balls itself. Going. So that's what I meant. So that's what I meant. Because I was like, so like, no, baby, baby. If we go by that, if we go by that, if you're a hermaphrodite and you're, if you go for a hermaphrodite, maybe you just don't get your visible balls, but they're still in there, so you can that, no. You only get like the thing there. Yeah. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. You wouldn't have enough room in your body for it. Because it, it's the same thing as if you're more, f- if you're male, you do get the balls, but you don't get a womb. Yeah. Is this an apple? Huh? Is this an apple? What, my phone. Yeah, not your phone. Huh? Yeah, your phone. Is it an apple? No. Okay. What? I was just curious. Sorry. <laughs> my phone hasn't changed for ages. Sorry. I was curious. I, I never knew. <laughs> It's fun. It looks the same as yours every time you've used it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to that rant. Um, anyway, we'll just let the story play now. Yeah. No more comments until yeah. the end. The cartoon also has a banner with the words informing the world of, about our baby's genitalia above the character. I shared this to my timeline and didn't tag anyone. Q entitled Karen. Whom I don't know all that well, who comes barging into comments saying, okay, so first of all, before, sorry, I know we said no comments, I just thought like, already we know, like, this guy, we don't agree with what he's done, but we do kind of understand, like, freedom of speech, so. They're entitled to do it. Why'd you finger the fucking ball? <laughs> it started making a hole, and then I stuck my finger in it, and it just kept going. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna agree with the whole thing is being transphobic, like we all just said, yes. but he wait till they're conscious and then they could decide. Um, but let's see how this Karen goes, because this Karen could be fucking... Uh, three angry face emojis, already off to a good start. Grr. <laughs> I find this so fucking offensive. Name, what name are we going to give this guy? Gary? Larry. Larry. No, no, what's a, what's a gender neutral name? Because it's non-binary. Just to be respectful. Sam. Sam. I was going to say, can we call him Himothy? Himothy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I've heard him, um, I ask, why so? Entitled Karen. Oh, this is a big message. Himothy. You posted this kind of drivel on my post telling me that I was damaging my child for having one. You tried to put your agenda in a place where it is was not welcome and got chewed up by a lot of pe- people. After you shit all over my post of what was supposed to be happy occasion for me with my oldest son, yes, I called him a son, a boy, because biological sexual organs depicted it. Just because it doesn't fit your agenda doesn't mean you can't you can put others down for it, especially when they waited a fucking long time for that child. If any of my kids end up gay, bi, cis, trans, etc., when they're older, I'll support it. Plain and simple. I don't care what they are. They're my kids, and they will be loved unconditionally. I thought I was over. I thought I was over you hijacking my happy post about finding out if I was having a boy or another girl. But seeing this has brought me back to anger. I've ignored a lot of your controversial posts, but this one hit home for me because you effectively ruined my reveal and insulted my friends because you were told that that your that your comments were inappropriate and unwelcome. So her point was basically ours. But she's a bitch about it. Yeah, I was gonna say your your parents great. She's not that bad. She's just getting overly angry about it. You get overly angry, and the reason you're a Karen, okay, Kim Hemothy here might see you as a Karen for a different reason that we're seeing you as a Karen. We are gonna get so attacked by fucking trans activist people when uh, they find maybe this video. maybe. People might see this later, and look again. We support everyone. But yeah, at birth, it's just dumb. You, biologically, there is only, biologically, scientifically, there is only yeah, two genders. Two genders. Yes. If someone comes to me and finds an argument that completely overrides everything I've just said and makes it, makes it in my, my makes head, it make sense. makes it make sense, I'll, sure. I'll retract everything. I mean, absolutely, go ahead then. That makes total I'm sense. I'm all for getting proved wrong. No, it's same, but no one's done that yet. Go ahead if yeah. you want to. Anybody in the comments who's watching this, if anybody has an argument, please go ahead. Yeah. Say it. Just be aware of the people who are going to comment after it. But just <laughs> say, fuck, feel free. But biologically and scientifically. Message yeah. on Instagram. Fucking do it. Do something. <laughs> do something. We want to know. Well, for fun. I genuinely. If it's really funny, we might make a real. <laughs> I, gen- <Yeah. laughs> I genuinely. We might flame the shit out of it. Genuinely want to be proved wrong. 
Like, I, like I'd want to be proved wrong. <laughs> because apparently people who have our opinions are the bad guys. And, well, I don't think we're the bad guys, but if we're the bad guys, then please prove us wrong. But know that we're also hard asses. <laughs> we, we, we have our opinions yes. strong. We also hear this side of it. Biologically, scientifically, two genders. Yes. Everything else is to make you feel comfortable. We'll allow you to have it. Sure, go for it. But as a human, I don't want what you want shoved down my throat. Oh, that's it. That's not anything. That's not the Christian. That's the religion. Fucking yeah. It's cool. I, you can be whatever I want. I'll respect you. You can be Christian. You can yeah, be just whatever. Don't. Just don't shove it down my throat. <laughs> you can be whatever. We'll respect it. Just we don't want it to. Like it'll annoy us if it's all you talk about. If you're annoyed at us for not being that way or having different views on it, that will annoy us, and then you'll be an asshole. Yeah. So everyone's allowed their own so opinion. Anyway, how this Karen is a Karen in my eyes that she's basically saying you don't have the right to speak. <laughs> Your freedom of speech, no. Yeah, she is saying that, but also it's specifically on how she's being with it. TJ misses you. Well, she says, she says, I miss you. <laughs> Didn't I, say I, something? I don't want to know the context. Oh, no, no, I probably do know the context unless I don't start up. No, it's what she's going to do. Yeah, yeah, with the friends. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Can you just tell her that I'm on the phone right now doing fat chats? Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Everyone, this is the day today. Did you finish the story? <laughs> no. Oh. I still have to go. Here, give. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not finished yet. There's also some comments that I've read ahead of time, and I really want to finish the story and then read right. it to you. Oh, so Go for it. Um, they wrote, Keep in mind, I, had dis- I have dyspraxia, and so both my short and long-term memory isn't exactly excellent. But given her reaction, I can see where this is going, and I'm not going to p- put up with this kind of whining. So I just say this. Get over it, Karen. Just because you insist on announcing to the world your your child has a penis doesn't make it a good idea. I do agree with the thing of gender reveals are fucking stupid. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> Just tell your friends it's a boy or it's a girl. Yeah. They'll do a whole they're, fucking woo! They're stupid. <laughs> but also, like, it's something they want to do because they're excited because they're having a What class. the fuck? What? How's Violet being annoying yet? Fuck you, TJ, bitch! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Her parting shot before blocking me is, um, what are we, what were we naming this person? Hemothy. Hemothy. Hemothy, on my fucking wall, it isn't my choice. You could have not comment- commented, and fuck you, by the way. It's entirely possible I was a bit rude, but it simply don't remember. But, but given how I usually approach the subject, I doubt it. At least on this occasion, and the trash, the trash took out itself. I comments. just think the post she used... Do you want to know the comments? It, I don't know. I just think the post that was shared... You're stupid. Do you want another comment? Wow, dude, you're definitely the asshole here. <laughs> you're an asshole. The thing is, I'm gonna treat my kid by their birth gender until they tell me otherwise. Exactly. Thank you! And even then, don't... talk to them about it and make sure that uh, they are yes. 100% on it and if... they're not just doing it because they want If you don't want to, that's your decision. If my son likes dolls, I'm gonna get him motherfucking dolls. I'll exactly. get him the best Barbie steakhouse and Barbies I can find. I say Barbie because at least Barbie can be anything and I want my son to feel like he can do anything and like she can, lol. Plus, I don't believe in gender reveal parties and what God this person does. Just buy neutral clothing. God. <laughs> why Why do so many parents get offended at this shit? If a child is trans, then you don't have to right to, yeah, don't have the right to treat them like they're not. It's hurtful, psychologically, and when parents do that thing, and it can entirely destroy the child's self-image. That person, so far, it basically sums up everything that we meant to say. We again, I'm terrible with words. Terrible with words. That person is what we meant to say. Yes. There's a few extra things in there. Two dead photos. Two dead photos. It's TikTok. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Stupid. I don't know I'm gonna give you shit. Anyway, um, that was fat chats. That was fat chats. That was a really long one, that's but a, a really good, good one. one. I did enjoy this. I one. like this. One. I did enjoy. It. I love having chats like this. Don't get me wrong. I love doing all this stuff for TJ, but it feels like I can't say certain things. Are you sure you want to continue saying this is on the channel? Yeah, but I, it, there's been times I've said things and it's not gone well. Yeah. So, there's, so in my mind I go, ah, oh, I don't want to say things then. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Don't go wrong. 
I love her to bits. Oh yeah, no, same, but platonically, platonically, the last. <laughs> and I love her to bits platonically, but yeah, no, but, yeah, no. I don't want to Yeah. Say. Yeah. We are not kicking you off Game of Gaming. No. No. Never. She's pivotal. She actually makes a lot of funny haha moments. <laughs> anyway, next time. Mm-hmm. Next time. Adios, people. Goodbye. <laughs>